Welcome to another edition of Inside the Film Room presented by Sharp. Bob Papa with Super Bowl champion Sean O'Hara. And with the fifth overall pick in the draft, the Giants take Kayvon Thibodeau out of the University of Oregon. And you're going to take a look at some of the things he does really well on tape. Yeah, Bob, this guy's got a great burst and right out of the gate. That's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to go right to the speed. We're going to get to this quickly. For the Giants, this is what you're looking at right here, okay? Look at this. This is an edge rusher. This is what it means to come off the edge with speed. I want you to watch the get off on the snap and just what that does to this tackle. All right, right now, Bob, all right? on the snap of the ball, look, this tackle's already got to turn, all right? This is what you're trying not to do as an O-lineman. You don't want to turn your hips. That's not a good thing. That's what they're trying to do to you. And Kayvon Thibodeau, with his get off, with his speed, with his burst, he's already turned that tackle sideways to the line of scrimmage. And now look at this, this athleticism right here. You can see he kind of dips the shoulder and still finds a way. A lot of guys would have ended up on the ground right there, but Thibodeau finds a way to finish with that pressure right there. You mentioned the fifth overall pick for Kayvon Thibodeau on the Giants. The Giants haven't drafted an edge rusher in the first round since JPP in 2010. So no doubt this is a big-time pickup and a big-time draft pick for the Giants. All right, here he is again on the edge, Bob. All right, now once you've established the speed, you could turn that speed into your power rush. That's exactly what he does with this tackle. He's already beat him with the burst and the get-off off the field. So now this tackle's worried about kicking back. And now he's got this guy worried about getting vertical to respect all this speed off the edge. And look what that does. That creates a soft anchor. And this is when you turn speed to power. This is what happens right here. This is, as an offensive lineman, this is tough to watch, Bob, right here. But this is <laughs> called getting run over slowly right here. This hand right there, I was, look at that hand. He's got wrist control on that tackle. He's got that tackle's right arm and inside hand. He's controlling it with the wrist right there. And that's what enables him to just throw this tackle on his back and then finish the play right there with a quarterback pressure. Seven sacks in his final year at the University of Oregon. All right, uh, we have one more play to show of Thibodeau. Both of those plays were against a left tackle, and now I'm going to show you against a right tackle. So here he is on the other side of the line of scrimmage going against a right tackle. So he can rush from both sides, very versatile, hand in the ground. And this is just more speed right here. All right, This is all about the get off, and you're going to see the dip and the rip. I showed you the hands and the power in the first two plays. This is the dip and the rip running the circle, as we talked about for edge rushers. There's the hands. You can see he kind of setting them up. The tackle's hands are a little high right here. He's trying to chop the hands right there. And then the dip right there. As he dips under that punch, look at him. He dips underneath the hands right there. So the offensive lineman is high with that punch. And then now he finished. Now look at the burst, the acceleration. Boom, sack right there. You mentioned the sacks already. 114 career pressures at Oregon. No doubt about it, Thibodeau is ready to rock and roll. Yeah, and in his final year at Oregon, he had 12 tackles for a loss, and he is obviously going to bring a lot of versatility to this Giants defense. For Sean O'Hara, I'm Bob Papa. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Inside the Film Room.